about you guys, but whenever I get a chance to see some wildlife, it always feels pretty surprising and amazing. There are a lot of animals to see right in your backyard. Sometimes you just have to wait and be patient. Or sometimes you can help bring some of this great wildlife a little closer so you can really check them out. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from the Wilderness Center, and if you're like me, you think having cabin fever is just for the birds. So let's do something for those birds. Today we're going to do two fun activities that even the littlest naturalist can have fun with. Chances are you've got everything you need at home to turn your family into what I like to call bird nerds. But hey, bird nerds are pretty cool. Our first project is a simple bird feeder. Then we'll make these fun binoculars to help watch the birds. Here's what you need to make the bird feeder. An empty toilet paper roll, string, scissors, a shallow dish, bird seed, and honey or peanut butter. First, fill the dish with bird seed. Now the fun and messy part. Smear some honey or peanut butter all over the outside of your toilet paper roll, making sure it's all covered. Then, roll your roll in the seed making sure that the seed sticks to the entire thing. Pack it on there. This is for our feathered friends. Once it's all complete, thread the string through the middle of the roll, trim it to a hangable size, and head outside. I like to put my bird feeders near a window so I can watch from inside. Just take note that these snazzy little bird feeders aren't really weatherproof, so on a rainy day you might want to bring them in. To make this craft, you'll need two empty toilet paper rolls, a hole punch, a stapler, some yarn, scissors, and any other art or decorating supplies that you would like to use. First, punch holes in one outside edge of each empty roll. Then put the rolls together and staple them at the top and the bottom to secure them. Tie one end of the yarn in one of the holes and measure around the head of the bird watcher before trimming and tying it on the other side. Then comes the fun part, decorating. Use markers or stickers, papers and glue, whatever you want to make these bird binos your very own. While it may seem silly for us as adults to use toilet paper rolls as binoculars, for kids it gives them one great focused view in a world where there is so much going on. Once you get your feeder hung, maybe you can make a list of all the different types of birds you see in your yard, or even a list of the different colors that come and visit. Who knew that a few empty toilet paper rolls could be the cure for cabin fever? See you next time!